Welcome everyone, my name is Jay. I'm the Dungeon Master here at Bad Plans D&D. If you're just joining us, we are just getting started on Chapter 2 of our epic campaign in the plague-ravaged world of Lydian. We're here on Twitch every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Central, and you can also find us on YouTube if you'd like to go back and watch Chapter 1. There's lots of episodes. I think this is actually like 28 or 29, I should probably know that. Late 20s, it's okay, no big deal. There's a lot of episodes. We've been going a while. But uh, yeah, how you guys doing? How's everybody? Great. Doing good. Enjoying the seagulls. The seagulls oh, yeah. are very yeah. <laughs> belligerent. They're today. coming for us. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. so loud. You stop counting things in the late twenties anyway, so like you don't have to you don't have to keep oh, counting yeah. these things, right? Just, just like real life. It's just another one. Yeah. Yeah, get the, used to it. The seagulls are so noisy. I'm, I'm trying to. <laughs> They're the next As seagulls big are. I know, like, right? That's their. That's their okay. way. If you grew up by the ocean, mine or or been you know, the seagulls are belligerent and annoying in real life too. That's better. That's good. Okay, sorry about that. How are you guys doing? As you can see, we have a mystery box on the screen tonight because that's going to be a person, but it is a boat. You're going to have to wait and see who it is. Could it be an item? Could we an choose item. if it's a person <laughs> or an item? Deck of many things. Like, Diamonds. Yeah, maybe we. <laughs> no. That's right. We can roll, roll, roll for digest. person. Like yes. roll for mystery box. A D one hundred. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we could roll, and the person patiently waiting there just doesn't get to play. <laughs> That's right. You guys Sorry. are holding an item instead. It's uh, a sword. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> That's an idea. <laughs> yeah, you know. All right. Any uh, any shout outs? Anything you guys? Any jokes for us, Jesse? Yeah, Jay. I got a question for you. <laughs> okay. Why should you swipe left on the undead? <laughs> is this dating? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one is that? Is that no or yes? Because I'm they make a good no. Tinder. Oh. No, unfortunately, it's oh. because the chance of getting ghosted is too high. Oh. <laughs> I like Jay's answer though. <laughs> nice I? It would actually fit with your tree ant. Name out of it. The tree. Like if your if your tree ant joke would actually work with that one too. Like. Uh... Oh yeah, Jay. Backup question. <laughs> what is a tree ant's favorite soda? Uh wait, let me. A tree. Was he? He wasn't here for that. Oh. He was not here. Know. Tree ant's yeah, favorite the soda. The warm up joke. We have a warm up. Joke. You guys all know the answer already. Except we, do. Me? Mm -hmm. we do. We do. Yeah, uh, we we've done this one before. Tree ants. Um, I have no idea. I got nothing. Well, it's root beer. <laughs> that was so obvious. <laughs> Dang. I, Once you hear it. Once yeah, I yeah, yeah. should have known that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys ready to start some D&D? &D? Oh, this. Yeah. oh, yeah. All right. So for everybody's uh, sake here, we're in an interlude right now. A bit of downtime as the characters have made their way back to their tavern, the Sleeping Savior, in the harbor town of Portsmouth. The town was in a bad way when they first arrived some months ago, but thanks to the efforts of the party, Portsmouth is starting to show signs of growth and rehabilitation. When they healed the sacred island of Alara's Rest and calmed the Everstorm, it opened up new waterways leading to travel and trade up and down the coast that wasn't there before. The Sleeping Savior itself, their tavern, is busier than ever, with their pr its proprietor, Emmy, doing her best to keep up and keep the dwarven ale flowing. Remus, the alderman, leads with confidence and authority as his sleepy little town begins to awaken. It was on this evening when the light din of music and revelry floated out of the tavern and down towards the docks, mixing with the lapping of the waves and creaking of the worn oaken docks. As Belrissa, you stand, your gaze affixed to the figurehead on the large merchant vessel. You suddenly notice a group of individuals approaching you in the darkness. There are four of them, coming from two directions. With your dark vision, you notice out of the corner of your eye that one of them is the fishmonger, Niles, the brutish half-orc who'd previously accosted you and your friends at the docks here. Oh. Your friends are up on the hill, in the tavern. You're all alone. So what's the plan? You should try not to die. Yeah, that's, that's kind a good of idea. I mean, it's I'm a kind of watching from the, uh, yeah, from the alley. Yeah, somewhat there. Okay. Yes, you are. Um, but I'm definitely not intervening. No. I, I have now interested. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, what I re I recognize him, and his name was. His name is Niles. Now it, you would probably remember Niles. He's one of the more outspoken citizens who was against your coming to town because he's very uh, anti-magic. He's very superstitious, and he didn't mm -hmm. want. He felt that you all coming was going to be bad luck, and didn't want didn't want you anywhere around. All right, I yell out, Niles! I I see you coming. It's probably not a good idea. They all stop. No, oh my god. Yeah? So, we've agreed. Bad idea. You guys are just going to go on your way. You see them kind of glancing at each other. A few of them looking over. You just hear, shh. And they all start moving towards you. How far away are they? Maybe 10 feet. 10 feet? All right. Um, I start casting uh, darkness. Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I start casting uh, darkness, but I use subtle spell. Oh, okay. And, um, Remind us what subtle spell does. Subtle spell means there's no verbal or um, <laughs> okay. Motion combat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and I wait till they're, I don't know, like, a tiny bit closer. Okay. Maybe five feet closer to cast it. Yeah, they're all kind of creeping towards you. Uh, and then they get it about five feet, and, and you cast it? Yes. <laughs> okay. So they're all coming towards <laughs> you, and then darkness everywhere. I'm assuming you're casting it like on yourself or somewhere. Yeah, of, like kind of right if there's like, two groups like right in the middle. Yeah, yeah, they're all darkness. converging on you basically <laughs> in the darkness. And uh as as they get a little bit closer, you notice the glint of steel as several of them have have daggers drawn. Suddenly the globe of darkness just emits all around you and you can see them immediately panic and several several of them start like wiping their eyes like they you know, they can't figure out what's going on. They can't see anything. Then you look down as a globe of darkness just envelops everyone, and you assume the worst. Uh, Belrissa's in there. Who knows what's going on? Probably well, violence. Killed him all is what I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm going to wait to see if maybe she just walks out. I can't see anything either. Yeah, I, I can't do. See I, the I swiftly walk out of there. Um, yeah. So I, I'm watching I the leave. edges. But I'm I, watching the edges to see if she pops out. Yeah. Okay. Wait, are you going back towards the sleeping savior? I'm I'm heading back, yes. As long as there's like somewhere kind of, sh like there's an alley or something shadowy where I can hide, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the savior is, is... I mean, they're in the darkness, but if they pop out of the darkness, I want to be, you know, well on my way. Yep, cool. So there's like a road that goes along the docks, basically. There's like a board, there's a boardwalk and then the, you know, the docks and the boats in the water boardwalk and then there's a road and then on the other side of that road is the sleeping savior and then there's like a you know a perpendicular road that that you can walk up and there's a bunch but you're able to sort of just scurry up the hill pretty quick and you can still hear them kind of shouting and and just all like confusion basically and, i i turn and around i'll, I'll and pop out as soon as as soon as she comes out of the darkness i'm gonna pop out yeah, you're on the roof her. are you just gonna like yeah i'll Assassin's just drop down Creed off yeah, the yeah, roof. yeah. Okay. Just boom, boom, boom. Perfect. I'll Mario it, you know? Mario it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to Assassin's Creed. I'm going to Mario. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. Um, as I, I turn around and message one of them as I get farther away, I message uh, the leader guy again. Mm -hmm. Or, again, not again. But I message him and I say, you will regret that in a very creepy whisper. <laughs> oh. Can you do the whisper for us? You will regret that. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> you you just hear grunting and kind of shouting from from inside the inside the darkness. Yeah. So so just, Vin just backflip and then lands in like Avengers pose, kind of like right next to you. Uh, and you didn't know he was there, and suddenly Vin is there. Oh hey Vin, did you hey. did you did you see that? I did. I was curious. That was that was well done. Man, I, I just not was not in the darkness. mood to like. I don't know, fireball? Clean up all the bodies. Yeah, I know, like I know. we just got back into town. I don't want people afraid of us it's yet, serious. so. I, hey, I hear you, I hear you. But, but it's been a lot of a, a lot of change should... anyway going on, but. Mm -hmm. Also like they shouldn't be doing, we like they're not allowed to drink at our place anymore. Oh, that's good. They are that's banned, like serious like, punishment. 
All right. Okay. I think, like put their uh, picture up on the wall. That's so right. That picture know. on the wall. I feel like we should give Belrissa XP for not murdering all the towns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was yeah. well done. Good choice. It was well done. Said you're I banned was... from the bar. <laughs> That's way worse. It's a worse punishment, right? <laughs> it's a punishment worse than death. <laughs> hey, well, you should at least find out. Like, <clears throat> I mean, those guys were annoying when we were last here. But did I don't, I didn't count them as stupid. And what they did right there was just either desperate or or dumb. Yeah. So it makes me wonder if maybe someone's pushing them. I don't know. That's interesting. We should oh. we should maybe press into that a little bit and yeah. see if there isn't a a second faction at work here in the city. I mean, should we that, go back uh, in and like capture one? No, no, no. Okay. Let's talk to Remus about it. Okay. I can't see in that stuff anyway. We should fix that. That would be great if I could see in it and you could see in it. Ah, yeah, what yeah. kind of fun could we have then? That would that would be a lot of fun. I don't know how to give you the magic ah. eyes though. Maybe. Another question for right. Could be like in Naruto, where all you got to do is take one eye out, and just give it to him. That's, just that's got how, <laughs> one that's of your how eyes. Works in that, in we could that just show. transfer eyes. But it kept just, one of the robot eyes. <laughs> I tap on. Yeah, I tap on my chest. Just kind of a little like tink tink tink. Like who knows? <coughs> There's all kinds of things that are possible these days. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can do something with eye spells. So yeah. Vinadil now has a glowing orb embedded in his chest, which uh, you have to cover up. You know, make sure it's completely covered by your armor. Otherwise, you basically glow in the dark as you're trying to yep. to sneak around. But yeah, it's uh, not great. But it's better, I think, than the robot. I mean. You think? I uh, yeah, definitely. We, we spent a while like getting all this back. It's pretty cool being, you know, you have their glowy, glowy thing there. Yeah. I I just kind of twist my fingers again. I'm still getting used to like the lights, so dancing lights, just kind of, as we walk down the, the, uh, just the walkway back to the sleeping Xavier. But so, uh, how come you followed me out there? I mean, curious mostly, but. Uh, you know, we've been through enough, too. You being alone. Like, the last time you went off mm -hmm. by yourself, it ended with kind of blood-curdling screaming and a town of ghosts almost killing us. So, you know, yeah. I thought maybe, maybe I'd follow just to see. <clears throat> did you, uh, did you see Not so what much I was... screaming. There, no, no, it was better this time. Did you see yeah. what I was looking at down there? I, it looked like a boat. It with, was... Uh, weird weird shaped thing on the front yeah. but uh yeah i couldn't i don't i mean it looked like a boat to me so that weird shaped thing was the uh -huh. same thing we saw in the town of the dead people oh. the dead people town that's that big statue thing that led to the screen okay. and all that it's like what it doesn't look like a like a hero like what no what is that guy thing he's well so Okay, so remember back in um, 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 Great Haven, Great Haven. Great Haven. Uh -huh. <laughs> when we were chasing, just... um, when we were trying to rescue Le Leslie, what's his name? Yeah. Yeah. So we were trying to rescue Leslie, and like before then, I couldn't Eldritch Blast. But then when we were done with that mission, I could Eldritch Blast. Right. You learned new magic. I mean, that happens to us all. All differently right you know your skills or your magic comes to you at different times it does this one came to me in a strange way um uh -huh. it turns out don't tell anyone this but there was there's this guy and his name is kianis yonku <laughs> uh-huh and apparently i made a deal with him <laughs> for Wait, powers didn't Raikkonen tell us about a kianis yeah yeah that, that one mm -hmm. Yeah. That's okay. his new name. <laughs> like, yeah, Kiana, Kiana Sree. Kiana Sree. Kiana Sree. Sorry, continue. Huh? Or Konis? I don't know. Konis Yonku. Something okay. Yonku. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of names. Okay. <laughs> but, so here, but, but here's the thing, right? I don't remember this. I don't remember making a deal with him. 
I don't really remember talking to him. All I know How is you... that Ziggy told me this. Oh, well. I mean, and that's... I look over behind her back. Can I see Ziggy? Like, I know he's probably there, but still, like... He's sleeping Ziggy's... inside the backpack. He's okay. Questionable authority. You know... Maybe he's confused. He could be confused. And maybe I just got my powers from being awesome. There you go. You could have... I mean, a lot of our people have powers. I, not so much. Most of mine come from the, you know, swords and things. But, like, it's natural within us. Mm -hmm. Again, the lights. Like, we can just do this kind of thing. You don't see the dwarf doing this. That's true. So maybe I didn't but actually make a deal. Maybe Ziggy's telling me a crazy story, because why would he Denial. want... Denial. <laughs> I mean, maybe Ziggy is trapped to some kind of plane. Like, it is weird that he can die and come back. So I get that. That's strange. I mean, again, I know I kind of did that too, but mm -hmm. apparently differently, because I didn't go some <laughs> other place. Um, I just hung around here. But you know, I... have you ever heard this guy? No. But does he talk in your brain? No. No? No. All right. But like, Why so did you since scream? he doesn't... So is that what made you scream? You saw, when you saw the... Okay, there was like the a statue? kind of a vision there. Uh-huh. But it, I, again, I, that, well, no, I screamed because of the, the tattoos. They were just appeared on me and it hurt like really bad. Oh, like it was like drawing on you? Yeah. Okay. But... There was, and there, there may have been some visions, but I don't remember them because it was just really, like, overwhelmingly painful. Belrissa, make right. an intelligence check. Okay. What do you remember? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what I remember. <laughs> intelligence. That's just this. It's been twelve months since she wrote this backstory. Like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> This is Bill and Ted is her <laughs> warlock patron. <laughs> oh, did it roll on roll 20? Oh, my first roll was six. Six. Yeah. yeah. All you remember, all you remember is pain. Uh, and, and it's, it's almost like, uh, you know how your brain kind of blocks out, you know, traumatic memories. Like all you, re you almost only remember what Ziggy told you after, like your actual memory of the event is just scarred from how much the the burning of that tattoo as it snaked its way across your your skin uh that's all you remember mm -hmm. but you know you know that this is a thing that's part of you that's that's nagging it's it's like this itch you can't scratch it's on the tip of your tongue but there's just nothing there okay so did hypothetically like if i did make a deal like should I try and like reach out to this dude? Like, how do I even do that? Do I have like a seance or like light some candles or like, I don't even know, except for just to pretend it didn't happen. Look, if, if this guy comes from a world that Siggy's from, like, and you know, I love you. And so I'll accept that you've got like a familiar cat, but like, he's not good, right? Like Siggy's, He's not like great as a, and he's probably, so like a whole world of him, like, yeah. I don't know if I want to be reaching out to that place. Um, I think maybe we just not pursue this. Okay. And. So just denial. That's like a problem for it's a future later, a later Belrissa, problem. I right? like I'm yeah. Oh, yeah. Future Belrissa. <laughs> I'm glad you're on board problem. with that. <laughs> okay. I mean They're definitely family. We, <laughs> we've we've got like problems right in front of us. Namely, I don't know, like seven more of these world spots that people might be trying to take over to do whatever kind of crazy magic stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we haven't even seen this guy. Except for maybe underneath Great Haven. Real quick outside game, Jay, do we know of, like, things like warlocks? Like, is that a known type of magic that some of the people in... Because, I mean, um, we have magic users among the elf group that we come from. Yeah, so. I, I would say that you 
would would be aware of the concept of a warlock yeah of, of making okay. a bargain with a with a, a okay. powerful entity in exchange so not for a... power so yeah that would probably come to mind as she's talking okay i mean here's the thing if you did make some kind of bargain mm -hmm. it's probably gonna have to be dealt with at some point in the future but again i don't think you should reach out to them if for whatever reason they can't reach out to you right now great okay. you get power they don't have access and control i think this is a win-win for us i like how you and, think okay and whatever is keeping them from reaching you i don't want us to accidentally break through that barrier right mm -hmm. you know um and we've got raikkonen maybe we write this one down too so helping me see through darkness helping you <laughs> break an eternal bond with some kind of bad guy from another realm you know we'll just put it as number two on our list <laughs> okay uh, of things that, that, number, two, that, that right, can it, number two can help us with. i mean we'll, we'll fix the eye thing first i figure start okay. with the easy one right get a quick win under mm -hmm. your belt yeah and then, build up the confidence then, that's right and then tackle yeah tackle the harder okay uh wow okay man i thought so okay again don't tell anyone else about I mean, I'm not. I mean, Jesse Side already note. doesn't like Ziggy. I don't want him to like try yeah, and I like think that kill him. All of that. your powers come from a dark, evil god yeah. of despair and death. He might not like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. So, side note. <laughs> it's not all. It's just some <laughs> of them. When I, when I came back to this body, there was this brief time where there was some stuff going on. And I thought maybe, maybe some of the other soul people that I could see might have got through. Did you see or hear anything during that time? Or was it just, I was a robot and then I was an, a drow again? So I'm hoping that that also is just maybe in my head. We, did but, we see uh, something, Jay? Uh, you didn't see anything. You saw Raikkonen panic, and he spent the next couple of days poking and prodding Benadil okay. to try to figure out what went wrong with the ritual. But, yeah, no, you did not okay. see anything. Yeah, I don't know. Raikkonen looked a little worried there. I thought maybe he I put you together wrong or something, but... <laughs> it feels normal. He so gave again. you the okay. So, I mean... Do you right. feel like you we... have things in people inside of you i'm just me i mean voices? it feels a little i mean <laughs> i do but that's like people like ren there's still some people i can still see the people who are in between oh. so oh speaking of know. that we should go on a ghost hunt sometime i want to use the, the telescope and you can oh. you can talk to them and we can go meet all, Ooh, the, now, all actually, the dead people in the town like the during the day though. would allow me to see through darkness i bet that would be interesting, Ooh, actually. I wonder. Yeah. We should try that. See, look. Now we have... All right, mm. plans already coming together. See, item one almost off the list. <laughs> then we can deal with your okay. eternal bond. All right, cool. All right. Let's... Uh... <laughs> you guys make it back to the top of the hill. And um, as you do, you hear the, scree uh, the, uh, the, the door kind of squeaks of the sleeping savior as it opens. And a couple of the drunken fishermen kind of stumble out, you know, singing a singing a bit of a shanty are you guys going back in there or what are you doing i'm going back in yeah yeah all right cool so you, you can join open, the table you open the door and and you go back in and the first thing you see it's hard to miss is a bright orange haired dwarf just sweating he's just he's just he's running back and forth behind the bar he's got like 17 <laughs> mugs in, in each hand he's <laughs> He's 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 doing his best to help Next Emmy. Next round's on me. He's not very good at this, but he's he's working hard. That's obvious. And Kins is just sitting at the bar, just laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm also trying to do some like subtle druid craft to like make little um, little effects around my beer because I'm just fascinated with like, okay, what could we do for like a special drink? And if I made like a little flower bloom, like, and so I'm just like talking to myself as I laugh at Joshi going back and forth. <laughs> I immediately try to find Emmy. I'm like, 
we need to cut this off. How many free rounds has he sold at this point? Like, like <laughs> immediately, like it was at least three before I left. I How tried many to on? tell him the same thing, but he insisted that y'all had saved the world again or, or something like this. And, and I just, I mean, it's your plan. What, what, but what no am one I... paid us for what, it. What, like, uh, we just walked out with hmm. some sand in our boots. I, Emmy, you need tell to them talk we're to out. Him. All right. All right. I think we might be out of ale. As owning a business is so easy, we are <laughs> yeah. on fire tonight. I have sold so many beers to myself, it's outrageous. <laughs> I feel like everything is just coming up aces. We're at, we have no problems. Thorcum is in charge of this cool place, and Kins is in charge of this cool place, and absolutely nothing went wrong with Vinadil's coming back from the dead. And uh, Belrissa is just has no problems whatsoever. Oh, hey, Belrissa. Hey. Then, okay. My Vin, list of priorities can you, is can you like zig. simmer down a little bit? Like you and Emmy like, cannot have these, you know, awkward interactions. Like we're, it's gonna happen, but you can't just come storming in and be like, Emmy, Emmy, like be chill. Jesse, chill. roll a dexterity check. I'm just saying. Oh yes. There's a finite amount of resources. 10. And no one's paying us for the mine. Just, you know. we, we can, we'll figure that out. And can't we just go and get stuff out of the mine? Like, I, I think we should we go to Lara's Rest. Not I think, anymore. I think now we, we brought go. Great Haven in. I mean, it's, we're it's the VIP. It's, it's our mine. Like, like hey, our mine that we're let letting us, them use. You right? know, yeah. It'll be fine. I really feel like we should have written that down before we left. <laughs> our mind. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, mine, did mine, you mine. learn nothing from being at the Oasis? You just give things away and then oh, they'll give things no. back oh, to you. Oh, is that why you're doing this, Jeshi? No, 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 no. No, I mean, like, it'll be fine. <laughs> the bad people here. were giving stuff away to gain power <laughs> over the Oasis. Like, that, I know we didn't really walk through all that while we were there, but, like, that's, that's what was happening. Uh, we remember things differently. Okay. I, said <laughs> I thought you were doing this because it's like, oh, hey, we're back. It's a party. No, we can't do this all a, the time. A little bit of column B. Jesse, what was your role? Ten. Ten. Okay. Uh, as you're walking by, you look over and you're trying. You're like half arguing with Vin, half carrying stuff, and and you uh, somebody backs their chair out, and you you start to stumble forward, oh. Oh. and Vin, you reach out and grab his arm and prevent, <laughs> and he doesn't fall over, but it was real close. Yep, hop. Oh, yes. We're good. I'm good. I was gonna say. We're good. Everyone's good. Beer? Beer? You need a beer? Uh, oh. Yeah, I, aren't, aren't you? I mean, how many beers have we had? I think I think we're good. I'm kind of. That's a couple dozen. Yes. I, think we sh I think we should uh, go up and talk. I mean, among the group. Talk? I want to go to the island, but I don't want to talk about it right here. Why don't I just fly over there? I'll go with you. <laughs> you want me to go by myself? I think Vin also wants to go to the island. It's your Orissa island. seems to want to go to the <laughs> island. <laughs> I mean, it I could, but I'm just saying, like, in terms of, like, what do we want to do next? Like, do we all want to go to the island? Oh, I mean, I haven't slept in a bed in, like, a couple of weeks, but what? I'm sure we'll go sleep on some roots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we literally just got back, You've right? Been like, here like an like, hour. Like, how like, about we not do the whole thing where we show up in town and then immediately leave for the island? Like, look, the island is like not? a day trip. It's so close. Like, we can just pop there and pop back. I'm just saying. But like tonight, of, it is the no, it not is like, tonight. I'm oh. saying that. It's I like don't want to talk about these point. plans right now in front of everyone else is all I'm saying. Well, people can't hear. It's crazy in here. Well, yeah, because yeah. we got them all drunk. Like. What? <laughs> you hear you hear the strumming of a, of a lute and you and you instinctively look over and you see the flowing blonde locks of Sparrow and he says, don't worry, I won't tell anyone about your secret plans. See, Sparrow couldn't oh, even hear. Oh, <laughs> Sparrow. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, I mean, a good night, sleep, and then, sure. Like, and then we'll talk to Emmy tomorrow, first thing in the morning. And what if we just, like, grab a boat, and then we can talk plans while we're on the boat? Because I don't think you can fly us all over. Or wait, right? do you not want people to know we're going to check out the island? Or just I what are plans just, after that? I just don't want to talk about... What island? Yeah. No, exactly, exactly. <laughs> no one knows about the... Everyone knows about the island now. 
Can we ride on turtles? That's another question. Ah. Could they carry us across to them? These are the questions we fun. need to answer. <sighs> Never get did get to fly on the dragon. Well, you weigh less uh, now that you're not a robot, so it's possible. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to get into our conversation about our weights again. <laughs> Everybody make a perception check. Nice. I don't think anyone can hear us talking. We're good. <laughs> uh, 26. Uh, 26? Wow. 11. Plus 10. Plus 10. 17. She's hearing like five buildings over. Just like yeah. No wonder she's <laughs> I hear the being worried about them. <laughs> 15. 15, 26. What was the others? 17. 17. 11. I love it. Mind okay. Rolling. Uh, Kins, um, Kin, in in Belrissa, I think uh, you you probably hear like every other word of this, but Kins, you hear this pretty clearly. You hear um, there's a table, maybe two tables down, and you would notice these guys earlier because Je they're the ones Jesse almost spilled uh, a whole bunch of beer on top of. So you you were just glancing at them, and you kind of red lips slash overheard, but yeah. You heard what happened, didn't you? <laughs> I told you. It's something magical, some beast. Niles is livid. <laughs> Lost an entire bushel earlier today, he did. Old bushel of fish. Him and the boys chased it down the docks. Saw it creeping on some youngin. But suddenly everything gone black on him and he's is gone. <laughs> Bad omen, mark my words. First it's the fish. Who knows what's next? Voice oh. trails off. Oh, hey. Do y'all rem do y'all remember someone named Niles? Yeah. He's not allowed he, to no, drink who's here anymore, Niles? by the way. <laughs> <laughs> He's what? Okay, so I went out to go find Ziggy and Niles and his like creepy dudes like started <laughs> converging on me with like daggers drawn oh my gosh and they were like i didn't want to like kill them so, <laughs> so i made the darkness happen and then i ran away but i told Did him they chase you they're not that's is, are they i, I look around on them right <laughs> <laughs> they, well they didn't see which way i went oh okay okay but, but anyway they're not allowed to drink i mean that's so sure. scary <laughs> I feel um, distraught it, by this. Yeah. You've been attacked in our I, town. I know. Mm -hmm. Everyone here likes us, but someone out what there tried to change. Yeah, not Niles, but what was he? What was he saying? Where who, that guy was not with. Oh, him. you heard him say Niles' well, name too. Yeah, but I only heard bits and pieces of it. Yeah, it was. It was something about actually. It's less about Niles to me, and more about a, a, a monster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I mean, I'm. I I kind of I kind of really am focused on this island, but I guess if we want to like figure out what th that seems bad, whatever they were talking about, and it involved Niles and him being upset about something. I mean, wasn't it? Didn't he like blame us for like bad things coming to the city because he thought our magic was like drawing out? The oh, evil or that something? guy. Oh yeah, I don't yeah. like that guy. He might be so, right. The day we arrived, I think the city got attacked from the water. Yeah, I mean, well, but, it, but it's gotten attacked we, before. Yeah, like, he, <laughs> you know. we did something about it. You almost That's true. got grabbed. I mean, you did get grabbed, but you almost. Mm -hmm. oh, As you're talking, the door opens and uh, it's Remus. And he's back. He, he left a, a few hours ago to go take care of some business. And you can see he's just <laughs> a couple more, a couple more dark rings under the eyes it's been another long day for the leader as he walks over and, and pulls up a stool and you see emmy kind of beeline towards him you know making a point to, to get him a drink and he just kind of slicks his hair back making a double on me emmy <laughs> thank you you're all still here doing all right um yeah there was a there was a, a situation down at the docks, but we're good. There I haven't is. left the bar in a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah, of course I'm fine. <laughs> Running a business is easy, isn't it? Uh, that was yes. sarcasm. <laughs> but you're doing a good oh, job. Listen, you. uh, <clears throat> if you'll uh, indulge me, I have an odd request to make of you all. 
Mm. Listening. That's fine. We'll, we'll listen. You recall the goat? Yeah. Mm. Talked about the goat a few times now. Mm-hmm. Belongs to an old widow by the name of Winnie. Her husband yes, passed Winnie's a few goat. years back. Yes. yes. Her husband passed. He stood his ground against a small pack of undead sprung up out of the marshes to the north. Oof. Sad story, that. But uh, all she's got left is that goat. And the, the damned thing is gone again. This time there's something odd, though. <clears throat> I went to look, check the fence, and something had clawed at it. Ripped it open. There were strange tracks, the likes of which I haven't seen before. Then, just not an hour ago, I get a, a report from an irate fishmonger. Some magical beast has been stealing his fish. Uh, I mean, this is a... Uh, Kith trains a, a hell of a guard, but magical beasts and whatnot are a bit out of their comfort zone. And, you know, I, it would help me quite a bit if you all might be willing tomorrow to go take a look. Perhaps track it through the forest or, I don't know, try to see what it is. Alexa, stop. <laughs> <laughs> What? Was that, that was a performer <laughs> on stage. Alexa, Alexa had taken Alexa's Sparrow's fired. place. <laughs> yeah. Was she talking? Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I couldn't hear it at all. No. What was she saying? It, she was looking up something in Webster's dictionary. She's I, like, uh, Let, <laughs> I looked up magical beasts and couldn't find anything. Who could it be? <laughs> it's a werewolf. <laughs> She was going on and on. <laughs> so as, a, oh, as, as some some drunk some drunken patron, some local named mm-hmm. Alexa is just sh- oh shoot I said it again. I, I had to unplug this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is canon. There's an Alexa. In this yeah, yeah, yeah. The now, now there is. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> she did not. I oh. searched for it, but I can't find nothing. <laughs> you do hear though. The uh, as as Remus is just sitting there looking very confused as you all just start laughing for no reason whatsoever at his very important request. I'm sorry, I'm drunk. The door opens and in steps a familiar face. <sighs> I had you Next round's on me. <laughs> Next uh, hey, hey, party time! Oh, welcome back, Kira. <laughs> Ah, it's not a sword. All right. Okay. <laughs> I was afraid it was going to be Niles. Uh, yeah, I know. No, so. <laughs> we got to avoid Niles. Standing in the doorway of your tavern is a is a tall, red-haired, half-elven woman wearing... Uh, why don't you describe yourself again for us, Kira? Akira uh, is uh, is adorned in, 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 in boiled leather armor. Uh, she wears, um, you know, very trim, lightweight gear small pack underneath uh, a flowing forest green cape woven of what appears to be some sort of uh like burlap meets um like weather treated fabric of some kind the hood is up uh, it is it's not a it's not a cape that attaches to her armor it's it's wrapped in a in a scarf around her neck that kind of is this giant one piece thing it's it's clearly meant to be a, a sheltering as well as some sort of you know, he's for stealth and for hiding, and um, she's got kind of knee-high boots on and uh, and, uh, and a bow and, and quiver slung over her uh, her shoulder. Uh, she's kind of leaning in the door frame, very cockily, um, <laughs> arms crossed over the chest, just smirking at this this this, this group that uh, that she knows well. Remus just looks over and looks back. Friend of yours? Oh, oh. indeed. Yeah, here we'll is wave great. you over. Come, take a seat. Yes, apparently uh, Remus has a uh, goat problem. Here, uh, Kira, goat problem. Uh, Kira, as you walk over, Remus steps up and he offers you his his seat. And he just looks at the lot of you and he says, "I need to get some rest, but if you could uh, look into our little thing, whatever this is, I'd appreciate it." I'm Let gonna go tomorrow. I, I want to get him before you leave, Remus. Uh, Niles and his group. Uh, keep your eye out. There might be, there might be some folks who aren't quite so happy that we're back and who link us more to the, uh, the negative happenings in this town than the positive. 
I know that's not you and obviously most of the people in this place, but uh, we don't want to... We don't want to have to, like, defend ourselves in our own town. And I, uh, I don't know what he's talking about, Kira. Everyone here loves us. Just, just, just a word. Like, maybe, maybe look so into popular. it. See if, if there's a way we can. Uh... We literally own this establishment. Oh. So anything you need, it's on me. <laughs> he, uh, he made... friends, grabs yeah. his what? grabs his hood, throws it up, and just gives gives you all a nod. Vinadelli looks at you, gives you kind of a a deeper nod, acknowledging your your request, and he. he Bye, Mayor. See, we know the mayor. Uh, Kira, Jesse's a bit drunk because he's been giving free beer all afternoon, so... Free? That's, that's, yeah, Sadly, yeah. we ran out it's just a couple minutes ago. <laughs> but... Yeah. That's not true. That's not true. I think it's true. <laughs> just have a seat. We'll talk to Emmy. Yeah. So... Pirates. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. How's that been? That's the last we heard from Tell you. Tell us. Last God. time we saw pirates was bad. Raikkonen bad, bad. jumping off to take care of some pirates. Did you take care of them? Tell us all we the stories. We were hoping that he yeah. wouldn't kill you. So <laughs> glad that you're still alive. Very. Glad. We had a pot going. Uh, you know, <laughs> I lost a little bit, but I am still glad to see you here. Still glad to see you here. Yes. I'm not sure, I know what that means, but. Um... <laughs> I knew just pretend okay, it means something nice. <laughs> Vin thought you were gonna die. I was, I had the faith. I mean, mm. Raikkonen, he tends to, you know, you never know. What you think, Rot? You thought Raikkonen was gonna kill him and not the pirates? Or just take him into well, a place? I mean, take her into a place where she would. He die, could be know? a pirate for all we know. <laughs> God. Um, I've got a, I've got a, <laughs> got a break and ask a couple questions. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're, now we're looking to like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, actually have any details here. Stories. Pirates yeah. are sea thieves. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, not that one. Uh... <laughs> uh, okay, so so Jay, when we were <laughs> reviewing <laughs> a little bit earlier, um, Mortimer and Raikkonen, same guy. That's the missing. Oh, yeah, these oh, idiots are using oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We use Mortimer usually when we're grumpy with him. We're kind That's of right. okay right now. Right. Okay. All right. Um, in that case. <laughs> oh, yes. The pirates. I remember them well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's been a, it's been a, long, it's been a long time. And, um, yes, we've we encountered some dangerous situations and... Uh, did have to put the bow to good use quite a few occasions. Nice. But um, all the name of progress and making my way towards answers that I seek regarding resurrection for my friend. Um, oh. oh my god. Oh, you see Vin now? Oh yeah, speaking as of I resurrection. <laughs> I was going to say, the last time this I is saw Benadil. that visage, it was quite a bit more pale than lying on a table. So, um... It's good to see you with it a bit more color, more pigment. Lovely. Yeah, mostly, uh, mostly me. I tap on my chest. Just yeah, it's an abomination. No. <laughs> Glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Raikkonen is uh, Mortimer. He uh, mm. do some interesting things, but apparently, apparently have a, a little bit of leftover of the uh, the old metal man mm. inside of me. But it's mostly me. Dancing lights. Just <laughs> been able to <laughs> think. Did you cast them again? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, Party my time. dancing lights are very muted and they just kind of stay around my hand. They are not like the brown uh, color. Melrissa's <laughs> no, 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 are the dance party lights. So, like, mine are normal. I whispered to Belrissa, I still like yours better. Thanks. I know. He's, he's, he's trying. Kind of picturing like those, those lights that. When the music's playing, they react. That and is Bell Rissa's dancing lights, yes. <laughs> yes. Wavelengths go up and down yes. depending on the beat of the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Wait, you killed things? When we were in the desert, there were like literally undead desert people. Dry walkers. That's oh. bad. It made, made me think maybe they were like ocean walkers too. Mm. Did you wet, kill, were they walkers. undead? I don't think... 
I guess they'd probably be on the ocean bottom. So, did you go there? Mm -hmm. Did you go there? We did stayed usually on the boats up to high. Did you see oh, an octopus sure. man? Like oh, a yeah, guy that like had a, like a baby octopus <laughs> with him, like on his shoulder. He, he wasn't an octopus. He had, <laughs> he had an, octopus. an octopus on his shoulder. Oh, yes. Like, it's... What, what is this? <laughs> 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 I thought his beard was an octopus. No, <laughs> no. A nightmare just, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he just it's ripped it off. Like Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, that's all. He was gonna sit back anyway. in the chair. <laughs> Everyone has had table, like seven bit. beers at least. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Jesse's we're all like drunk. thirty beers <laughs> in. Just kind of. <laughs> Do you think I could get a little bit of what the rest of you lot are having? Yes. Trust me, I think. That, uh, might be able to me. participate in the conversation a bit more. Well, hey, Emmy. welcome back. Uh, so, so no baby octopuses. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Hello, dear. No, welcome so. to the Sleep and Savior. I see you've already met our proprietors. Hey, could I uh, get you all around? I mean, you seem Please. like you're settling in. Mm. Would you yeah. Would you like some of that dwarven ale we got? Because we are far from running out. <sighs> sure, yeah. Well, the strongest you've got would be, uh, would be great. That's my girl. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm probably good. <laughs> Just so, Kira, that drink. right there, that was Emmy, and her and Vin are going to be together one day. They are in love, and we're trying to set them up. They just don't know That's it adorable. yet. They don't. Yes. Vin, congratulations. <laughs> We've... Well, it's not official. We, we're trying to work baby steps. We have to figure out if she's okay with him being dead. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a lot less dead than he used to be. Sure. And it, you know, he's, as long as he's alive in the areas that count, you know. Right. Uh... Exactly. <laughs> heart still works. The heart. <laughs> no, I thought that's what was Is that your heart? The, I thought that was the, the metal. The tink -tink thing, thing, like... the object. What percent alive do you think I am? Hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jesse. You a hundred? Uh, so I'm a hundred. Analysis. Good. I think you 42. can only be a hundred or or none. Like I don't. <laughs> well, what about your alt your alive? Yeah, thing? I thought like, you, you said like... that you were alternatively alive. You That's not hundred percent. Fully, fully alive, just in a different. Express, I have a better understanding and appreciation. <laughs> oh, you of, have a better understanding. Oh, okay. I see. Just so there's saying. no difference. You were 100% Wait. in the robot, 100% now. We're all 100%. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, Kira, you're looking into resurrection. We have resurrected Vin, but Vin read like a million books about life and death. So he, I'm sure he has some factoids also to. I couldn't sleep for about a month and a half. It was real creepy. So I did read most of Raikkonen's works. I will mm. say they did repeat a lot. But, uh, you know, he uh, he has written a lot on death. I mean, I assume that's why you're hanging out with him. Uh, Akira will kind of just not quite, not quite turn her, the mood around, but just kind of just, you know, pull back just a tiny bit to, and just kind of react a little bit with them. I'm afraid uh, the type of resurrection I'm looking into is a bit more traditional than what you went through. Um, mm. Lack of a body, lack of a robot and all. Mm. Yeah. They pass beyond the veil? Like a normal way. Was, yeah. Was this before the the calamity? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, how long ago was the calamity? Let's, uh... it's like, <laughs> this is about 100 years ago. Yeah. Your, your... It was like right shortly after it started. I'm not that old, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like in the sand, though, we figured out how to put a soul into a robot. Like, would would you entertain robot resurrection? <laughs> <laughs> how important is the flesh body to you? <laughs> <laughs> there was a dragon that helped us. It was really cool. <laughs> the, the flesh, I, I think. You don't be. look a day over fifty. Okay. That's choice. It's not for me, by the way. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fine. Jesse doesn't think that Vin was like a real person as a robot, so I think like he's probably on the sure. same wavelength. Right. You know. Protection from yeah. good and evil. <laughs> 
You've got to be on a spell slot. You're doing it all the time. You just, yes, you just kind yes. of okay. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I run out of like the ability to cast it on any particular day, but I still fake it. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Shoot. We <laughs> all just heard you. Zone of truth. No, I don't. I don't fake it. <laughs> This hammered paladin is just slinging spells <laughs> every day. He probably doesn't have it. He probably faked that zone of truth too. Yeah. Anyway, um Zone of Truth. I didn't fake it. <laughs> Can you double cast that? Cancels He's been out of spell slots. Yeah, he's for definitely long, long ago. Like, like <laughs> many hours now. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, so uh, we should set Kira up with a room. Since we own this place, oh, this humble we've got an empty one down the hall. If oh, you don't do. mind sharing it with Rin, found me. She only exists. <laughs> or who's in... Rin? So oh. she's someone I met when I was kind of in more of my uh, alternative form, right? <laughs> robot. So she exists in between worlds. Well, before I went into the robot, robot. I was a little more spirit based. Right. So I got to share a room with a spirit. <laughs> I mean, she's great. Yeah, she's a ghost. Sure. Yep. So she's like 10, right? 12 ish. 12 ish. But, you know. I've got to share a room with a spirit child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who gets it? You she mostly don't even know she's there. Do you think, so. you, think you would prefer to? Yeah, uh, Vin, you could. You oh, know, you could Ren. room with Jesse. Yeah. I'd gladly go take that room. And you, that's a great idea. Oh, you room yeah. with Jesse. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'll room with Ren. Yes. Also, I think that uh, that Kira is going to realize that the the creep factor of a spirit <laughs> child is less intimidating than the prospect of a drunken dwarf. So uh, yeah. <laughs> she's going to uh, she's she's going to look at Jesse and just kind of <laughs> yay, all settled. It's settled. We'll all take the same room. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head. I'm gonna hit the hay. Yeah, you should go yeah. to bed. All right, let me, let me help let me you. We'll get you upstairs. Uh, I'm good. I spring up. I'm just normal behavior <laughs> up the stairs. I have a very high constitution. <laughs> I'm yeah, really his, looking his forward bodily, to bodily like it, like he he doesn't lose his balance at all or anything like that. But his hmm. mind is just yeah. It's quite remarkable. You see the way he just kind of scampered right on there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, uh... He, he has a lot of practice getting out of very sticky situations. Real fast. In, into and out of, I guess, but you know. But yeah, in the morning, uh, I mean, since you're here, which, what great timing. Mm. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, it sounds like we need to go track something, which isn't my kind of, uh, I prefer shooting some things, mm. but if, if you have any skill in tracking, that might prove useful. Oh, I certainly uh, do. Mm. And put to good use these last weeks. But that's a story for another night. Yeah. Oh, oh, and Kira, and I lower my voice. If you run into a guy named Niles, we do not like him, okay? Just really? avoid yeah. Niles. Is he, is he not a spirit? No, he's just a guy that bullies us. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll be on the lookout for a real man named Niles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, people come with daggers at Belrose that you'll know it's them. They came at you with daggers. They, they did, yeah. No, tell me where they are. Um, I left them or... in the darkness. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. We'll show you sometime. It's then that's the last scary an hour and cool. Too. Yeah, but I mean, it's only like thirty feet, so they probably walk. They out could right probably now. wander out. Yeah. Oh, you should have cast it on one of them, just so that they walked around in darkness for an right. hour. <laughs> Next time. That would have been great. Uh, Next time I we'll think... Oh my god. <laughs> kind of give a little tilt towards Belrissa and just if you decide that um you'd like them to remain in the darkness maybe a bit differently and a more bit more permanently, you just let me know. Thanks. They did that that was their last chance, so yeah. It happens again. It was. Mm -hmm. Well that... I mean hey, Kira just like ranks up a point in Ben's mind. It's like, all right. <laughs> I like this lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Off to bed. All right. Yes. All right. You all work your way upstairs and retire to your. On the way up, I look rooms. at Emmy and make some kind of sign that says, "No more free beers." 
Oh. Like, <laughs> we're, thought we're you were going a different direction right. with that. Okay. Totally different direction. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll be in the room with your with your dead daughter. Okay. <laughs> That's right. I don't want to invite her up then. Machine human. <laughs> we didn't think this all the way through. No, oh, everything no. has gone wrong. We need to figure out this resurrection. <laughs> has to oh no! Oh, I can't stop laughing. Okay, <clears throat> Kira, mm. as you are sitting upstairs, and Jesse is just snoring like. <laughs> like just super loud like it's mm. it's almost soothing it's like asmr it's like it's like mm. so loud and rhythmic that actually yeah, if you could <laughs> if you could give me a little uh actually like from evil and good <laughs> okay ASMR. definitely not a ghost girl that lives here <laughs> okay. you uh you recall the last month or so, mm. as as you've been. Uh, oops, let's see. Let's get the right. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh man, I was like, wow. This is it was an intense tragedy. It was not far off. There we go. It's not but as far off as you think. All the pirates. <laughs> all the pirate <laughs> genocide has, yeah. has occurred. <laughs> all of them. Uh, no, Kira, you're sitting at the edge of your bed, just kind of like looking at Jesse Jesse's like chest as it raises like 12 inches and comes down with every just massive snore. You recall your time with Mortimer. On that day. When last you all were together in Stillgate, deep in Mortimer's laboratory, you all were set out the next morning to, to head off to the desert. But Kira and Mortimer, they went upstairs to have a different conversation. Mortimer brings you upstairs into a, what looks to just be a maybe a, a dining room or just a, not, not quite as laboratory-like, just more of a normal room, and he goes over to uh, the edge and he, and he pours what looks like a, a cup of tea and he hands it to you. He comes over and he says, What you've asked of me is not impossible. I might be able to bring back your friend. Tell me how. Well, first you got to do something for me. Mm. Name it. <laughs> you don't know me. But I know a lot about you. Your reputation precedes you. Not just as a warrior, but as a tracker. Mm. One of the best on the continent, if what I've heard is correct. It is. Kira, I want you to find someone for me. Someone who's on the run. Who's real good at not being found. That won't be true for long. Who are they? Well, I reckon you might have a vested interest in this particular someone. <laughs> it's helpful. Hawthorne is alive. You're lying. I am not. And I want you it's to impossible. find him. Did you not come here asking me about resurrection? And now you're going to tell me in the same breath it's impossible for him to be alive. I can assure you he walks, and we need to find him. Consider it done. <clears throat> All right. The memory fades, Kira, as you recall Mortimer giving you the last known location of the man named Hawthorne. Uh, a name which just brings up in you just uh, the most vile hatred and, and vitriol. It, 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 even just recalling this memory as you sit on the edge of the bed, just, you, you've got goosebumps and your, your blood pressure is rising just thinking about the memory. <laughs> it's hard to fall asleep. But at the same time, there's a certain safety and calm that you feel in this place that you have not felt in a long time. The night passes. You wake to the smell 
of delicious bacon emanating from the kitchens below. What's the plan? Or we'll uh we'll wake up and and <laughs> see, <laughs> we'll see that, that Jesse is uh still same good. exact position. <laughs> Face down. <laughs> <laughs> Miss the pillow by you know half a foot. Perfect. Uh Kira's gonna, you know, stifle a a, a not quite chuckle. <laughs> And, uh, 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 I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> the ship's bells ring loud in the harbor right nearby oh. as the morning ships are yeah. headed out for their day of fishing. And uh, as she's she's uh, she's smiling, looking at, at Jesse, who's who's kind of I guess <laughs> doing that like that thing your dog does when you wake him up. <laughs> 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 Uh, and, uh, and, and, and she's going to, uh, she's going to just look at it and say, you know, I, um, I think I smell bacon downstairs. Do you want to, um, go have a look? Hey, Kira. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. When did you get in? Sure. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> see, it's a bit worse for wear because I know. Tonight. Well, um... <laughs> oh, Vin is gonna be so mad at me. Oh, you, um... yeah, we should get some bacon. <laughs> Good <Let's> look. <sighs> we'll, uh, we'll head downstairs, I guess, and as uh, would take a take a. I, I don't I don't really know the bar very well, so I'm just gonna kind of walk towards the same table I sat at last night. It's it's pretty much bacon and beer. So okay. I mean that's right. that's the two things that we have <laughs> that we've canonized so far. <laughs> so it's um, I, I do I make a mental note to check on the pig population. I'm like, man, with the amount of bacon <laughs> probably <laughs> probably need to talk and population. just make sure pig There's also a is... fresh loaf of sourdough coming out of the other. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, next bread. episode we'll have a supply chain discussion. <laughs> that's <laughs> right, that's right. Yeah. Really gotta talk about all the city uh, logistics. The yeah, that's right. That's right. I think uh, it's Kira's only for subscribers for like lead the way, kind of show me what we're gonna do here this morning because I'm. It's on me. Uh, no, my goodness, no. It's on me. It's on me. <laughs> when you get uh, downstairs, yeah, well, hey, yeah, go this ahead. is Emmy. Did you meet Emmy? I did. She's she seems lovely. I mean, it's it's great to great to see you again. Emmy, go 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 relax. I'll I'll make the bacon. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dear, why don't <laughs> I appreciate that very much? <laughs> why don't you just go have a seat and I'll take care of it? Just, just, just yeah, 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 please. Just right, maybe you. Tomorrow. tomorrow. You were a wonderful help last night, but please, please just go sit. Okay, thanks. No, I, I assume we all heard the super loud bell. Yeah, the others uh, around. Like, <laughs> yeah, so you get downstairs, and, and uh, you two are actually the last to, to get downstairs. Uh -huh. Kira, you've been up for a while, but it took your time getting down, and everyone else is just kind of sitting there, uh, drinking a bit of coffee, maybe, whatever you guys are, whatever your morning routine is. You know, you're all sitting at your usual spot. Uh, nobody else is in here, which is, it's like a rare occasion because the fishermen start so early that the first patrons start rolling in to drink at like noon. So uh, just to have literally no one else in here except for you guys and, and Emmy is uh, a rare bit of quiet, and, and it's, it's nice. No, it's, How'd you guys uh... sleep? Morning, Jeshi. Hey. You feel okay there? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. He's, uh, he's quite, he's got, it's, like having a, it's like having a nice white noise. Oh. oh. Share room with Jesse. It's a very. I'm sorry. Room with own patch you got that before. No, it's, like, it's actually some of the nicest rest I've had in uh, in quite a while. So. Same, my God. Yeah, we haven't really. Any night you can nice sleep. Bed. I gotta tell you, not being able to sleep, having to stare at all these guys for hours on end every night. You stared at us. Why couldn't you like just look at the stars or that's, something? That's kind of creepy. Which one did you stare at most? <laughs> well, mostly the book, but it's between you and the cat. 
I mean, the demon cat mm. was mostly awake staring back at me, so... Mm. Oh, my Oh, goodness. no. You know, he was trying to like, keep you going. Ziggy never sleeps either. Like, Ziggy doesn't cat. sleep either? I don't know about like, this cat. How many people are watching <laughs> us when we sleep? Oh, my gosh. I'm just saying. It's kind of weird. You guys just, like, zone out at least for three so eight far. hours. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Even meditation, man. It's better than that one. Better than that. So, uh, so much for vacation by the beach, huh? Apparently we have some kind of magical monster. I can't imagine yeah. it's... What? I guess it's not an undead thing. Do you oh, not remember you anything remember? from yesterday? Okay, so we took a job. <clears throat> I remember a lot from yesterday. We took a job. I had to run this business basically by myself, me and Emmy. Uh, <laughs> run it into yeah. the ground, you mean? Jesse, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna... <laughs> Yeah. Have a little talk we'll, about. We'll By talk the way, completely later. unrelated. If we could get a job that pays with gold, you know, I'll take something on the side. Oh. Okay. Well, okay, okay, Jesse, do you remember? <laughs> do you remember the goat? Winnie's goat. Wait, do you remember the yeah. goat at all? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. Yeah, so the course, missing yes. goat. Yeah. The missing yeah. Goat, yeah. 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 So you, this you is... went flying to look for it. You uh, for fine. No, I wanted to go fly for look to look for oh. it, but I didn't really. But now we're tangentially related to this. Be... You know what's been weird to me is you haven't said one word about going to the island since we got back. Oh yeah, not at all. I it's yeah, who cares strange. about that I island? I thought you would really want to go see it. <laughs> yeah, Jesse, we'll get to the island, but we have the more pressing job. The goat. goat. <laughs> well, it's related to the goat. <laughs> we got to make sure the goat comes back safely. So okay, Winnie is the person who owns the goat. Her husband died because of undead. Super sad, right? And so the goat is all that she has left. And so we have to make sure the goat well, is Well, Winnie's protected. a great name. I'm willing to do anything. <laughs> Absolutely, I agree. But <laughs> we need to go make sure that a big monster doesn't eat this goat. Are you in? Of course as I'm you, in. As you're talking, Emmy walks up and hand puts down a, a <laughs> plate. Of, it's a half a loaf of sourdough, mm -hmm. nicely sliced, a bit of butter. There's a plate of bacon, a bunch of uh, refills on the coffee. Just everything comes down fresh, just smells so good. And as she's putting it down, she says, y'all should talk to some of the locals. I've heard quite a few stories about sightings of this thing that that I heard. I'm sorry, I overheard. I did not mean to be oh, rude. But, have you uh, seen it? Uh, no, I've not seen anything. But, oh. uh, I heard that uh, Rowan down at the stables ha had a... Uh, some of his some of his animals were affected. He might be a, a person to talk to. And mm. then uh, old Winnie, you know, she uh, I heard her whole gate was trampled and, and torn apart or some such thing. I think that would oh. be a, potentially something to look at. But mm -hmm. oh yeah, uh, for sure. Y'all the experts, we, but yeah, we don't know what it looks like, so I think that's very helpful. Thank you, Emmy. And I'll, Before like, we head out, this definitely seems like a job for all. All of us, all five of us. Jeshi, yes. how do you feel about grabbing some armor? Oh, yeah, you had armor ready. Do you remember? I mean, it's got to be just sitting at the store waiting for us at this point. Mm. It's yeah. been like a month and a half. That Thorcum commissioned? Yeah. <coughs> and we paid for. It's already With paid our for. our ever dwindling stocks of gold. But, you you know, can sell we'll it back to him. No, you don't want it? who here Wait, is going to buy a full set of armor? No one else can afford it. Well, that. I haven't died yet. I should be fine. No, I'll get the armor. It's already paid for. I'll get the armor. Yeah. Right. Oh, Ziggy's on the way out got of town, some armor, would, too. Or maybe on the way to Rowan's. Wait, Ziggy has <laughs> armor? Like Ziggy little tiny cat armor? armor? <laughs> yeah, remember? I commissioned him some no, little leather armor. The leather armor. Oh, the leather. Yeah. yeah. I do remember. How about Kins? What if you and Kira here go to the stables? while we go do that other stuff. And you can uh, get some, get whatever Rowan's had, and then maybe we meet up at uh, Winnie's place. Should we really be separating? What if we run into Niles again? Oh yeah. It's, day time. it's the daytime in the middle of Just town. Just fireball him in the face. That's Should right. I? Like, Should... Not... <laughs> no, <laughs> probably not. But it's your choice. I think we'll be okay no, in the middle of the day. <laughs> Don't, only probably not. <laughs> Speaking of Nas, like I'm serious, like can we ban him from the bar because he's bad news, or would that just cause oh, totally. more issues? Okay. No, you, we'll tell. You, we'll tell you. Emmy. But you banned Emmy. him from the bar. We I should will. make a sign that yes. says 
50% off if your name isn't Niles. No. Why are we discounting everything? No, no and then we doubled the price. <laughs> oh, good. No. I think they would know. We have some regulars coming through. I they think Emmy's know. been doing a well, good job. Well, but they get 50% off, so the price will be the same. <laughs> My grandma. Let's go with Jesse to get the armor. And All then right. you guys go to Rowan. Okay, but and can we put the sign up first? Like, <clears throat> I, really I feel like a sign is a little aggressive. Like, can't do we have a bouncer or <laughs> don't? Do we need to hire <laughs> one? That oh, should be our nice. We're talking. What's the 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 not Sparrow guy that uh, is playing the Dorian? thing? Can he, yes, Dorian. Oh. Can Dorian the money <laughs> guy? <laughs> oh. We have an Dorian? accountant bar. <laughs> Dorian's <laughs> checking the pig <laughs> populations. <laughs> like that's about the oh. limit of what Dorian can do. I don't. Okay. I don't we'll talk think... to Dorian next episode. You know. Yeah. Or uh, the, Kit, uh, Kit, supply Kit, chain. Right. During the supply chain. Oh, okay. Might Kit yeah. might have someone. We can use as a bouncer. Oh, that's a better. We'll, right. we'll talk you, to her. You would also her. recall that Kith is Niles's wife. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe, maybe we, I right, did kids, not we recall got that. This horrible person. Oh no! no. Keep out of the, Wait, we're gonna you know, ban don't, him. Don't tell her who it is. <laughs> so, somehow that didn't make it into my list of NPCs. Yeah, uh, I didn't write that yeah. in there either. <laughs> We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. Right, so Emmy, for now, if... Thing? Wait, hold on. Emmy, for now, if Niles comes in, like, his beer is half water. Ooh, yeah. That's a good Just idea. until we figure out our security she, situation. She kind of smiles. She says, don't worry, dear. Niles does not come in this bar ever. Oh, good. You okay. don't have to worry All about it. All right. Him. Issue solved, then. Thank you. Oh, we have to find a different way to punish him, though. I know. What bar does he go in? <laughs> Like, who's our rival? Yeah, dude, is there another bar? She says, um, him and that whole crew of bargemen down there, they just kind of stick to themselves for the most part. And you know what? <laughs> I don't complain. Okay. So it's an underground bar. Got it. Okay. We'll find it later. <laughs> A speakeasy. I know. I mean, you all are so entrepreneurial. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. You got to spend money to make money. So I, mean, I gave away a lot of beer. We're learning. <laughs> it's, you know, you stumble, you fall, get back up. It's, we'll get there. Sure. You die, you get resurrected. Yeah. So that good. too. That's okay. our theme. Okay. Right. So, right. so, uh, so Kira and <laughs> Ken are going to visit Rowan at the stables. Mm. Uh, and Jesse and Vinadil and Belrissa. And uh, making an armor oh, ready. Smith. Belrissa, are you going somewhere else? Or what are you doing? You got you to pick a team. We can uh, go to the. We can swing by the leather place to get your yeah, Ziggy's armor too. I don't. Yeah. I don't really want to be a, alone. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, stick <laughs> yeah, with us. Yeah. We'll make an armor run while okay. they do the the intro to visit run, yeah. uh, Corey and Darna Clearwood, who the halflings who yes or the gnomes rather who made your uh yeah, Ziggy's Corey armor. and Darna. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and and also Naj and Sula. Oh my gosh, Finn. Yeah, well I didn't done. write down all of these. Well, I think they're Janasi, but I could be wrong. They are. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, so uh, let's go with uh, Vin and Jeshi. We'll start in Belrissa. We'll start with the three of you. You guys make your way across town to the... Oh, where my situation go here? Our plan is complete. If we can see every NPC and make Jay voice them. That's the goal. Like, <laughs> this is one of those NPCs that I forgot about, and I don't remember <laughs> what they sound like. So, actually, I'm trying to look up the name of their. Uh... They had a voice like this. <laughs> 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 Let's see Made here. Armor? Yes. <laughs> Dig into some old notes for a second. Let's see. Uh, Portsmouth. Okay. So, Vin, you owe me a couple gold because Kira's alive. No, yeah. I presume you didn't pay me last night. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll toss some tin gold. I'll give it back to you. On the other side of the other two groups, as Kins and I are leaving, I'll, I'll just somehow think to say, is it true that people are placing bets on my life? <laughs> Well, I mean, it's, you know, just kind of like those fun bets. I mean, this doesn't sound very fun, but just kind of like, oh, hey, if this, we didn't actually think that you were going to die. So, did, you make, did you make a make a bet? Did, did you? 
Oh, no, no, no. not at all. No. Never. I would never no. do that. Of course not. No. Okay, good. I just, I, I figured I just, you know. Kira, you no. rode on me as an eagle. We're like BFF. Like, I would never <sighs> want to lose that bond. I would never oh. forget that moment mm. were it not for the, um, you know, river rapids from well, hell. Yeah, were, we can block that out. Time. Yeah. Mm. Not a fan. The door of the tailor swings open as a short elderly gnome opens the door and says, it's been so long since you've come in here. Welcome, welcome. You, you can't just, just come, 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 come. And the, and the door swings open and he just kind of like walk, <laughs> walks back real, real fast to, across, uh, across his store. And, and he, and he says, uh, says, Donna, look who's here. Look who's here. Come bring your, f bring it, bring it in quick, 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 quick. quick. Ooh, can't, can't wait, can't wait. And uh, pulled Ziggy out. <laughs> Wait, so this is for Ziggy. You feel yeah. you feel claws in your shoulder as Ziggy is like stretching and pulling his. Hey, I remember this place. Uh, this is uh, okay. Are All you, right. Yeah. yeah. You excited? My dear. Okay, we finished this weeks ago, but you've you've not been. I uh, I'm so. Oh. I thought maybe you'd you'd not gonna come. This is uh, Donna. Come on, come come come. And 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 uh, this this old woman, she kind of waddles across, you know, across the floor, and the floor is all squeaky. And she's she's holding this like black, like kind of leathery thing with like all these metal studs in it, and, and it's and it and it kind of like pulls over it, like it looks kind of like a street jacket, you know. But it's got like these holes in the back for his wings that kind of stick out, and it kind of flows all the way down, and and kind of goes up over, and there's a hole for the tail. <laughs> Uh, but it's kind of built so he can like sit up in it as well as like lean over and and she just kind of hands it hands it to you and, and she doesn't say much and she hands it and kind of waddles back to her chair and and, and Corey just says oh, would you would you look at at that that is uh, I could never have come up with something like this and my wife she's a genius the 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 the, the, the design and and it's just <laughs> to think we'd be making an outfit for a cat. <laughs> So, um, I just uh, thank you, and here you are. And Thank you. Uh, and this has been one of the most exciting things we've ever made, I have to admit. <laughs> could, uh, <clears throat> could he try it on? <laughs> so, you, do, you, do you need help, or do you, do, you, do you, I mean, you don't really have, you know, thumbs. Do you need help putting this on? Well, uh, <laughs> Could you ask them to, uh, you know, maybe turn around? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, I take him behind, hey. like, the little folding, the trifold thing that, like, tailors have. <laughs> he kind of, like, sits up, and he has, like, the sphinx gut where he, like, he kind of sits up, and he's got, like, this huge roll. Just kind of, he's just, like, the ugliest thing imaginable, and he's just kind of sitting there. He's like, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Give it to me. Here we go. Come on, put it on me. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lord. <laughs> like, mm, I'm sure it's kind of sticky. <laughs> Can't he just, why is it <laughs> sticky? Because he has no fur and he's in this leather and it's like. <laughs> when I was cracking up, I couldn't hear it. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> so, uh, Vin and Jesse. <laughs> just like rock and roll just starts playing for some reason in the background yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden like everything goes in slow motion as as the the dressing room door opens and strutting out across the floor is is ziggy and there's just like a guitar solo and like he's just like looking back of his hey look and he just and he and he beats his wings and he, and he floats up into the air and, and he goes right over to jeshi and he just like kind of hovers in front of you and he's just like kind of like like flip like flips his collar a little bit you know <laughs> and then he kind of kind of floats back and he sits on Belrissa's shoulder and and he is so pleased with himself unbelievably happy and uh and 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 the two the two gnomes are are, are happy as well and this is a masterpiece i i pay them and tip them well <laughs> excellent so you now have a uh it's rockabilly a clothed uh it's it's like s somewhere between rockabilly and and goth uh, with the, with this just crazy, you know, sphinx outfit, demon cat outfit. So, you guys leave. Um, smash cut to Kira. 
and kins as you walk across uh, kind of an over in an area town um, on the southern side that you haven't visited very often but uh oh, we lost jesse <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you approach you you see that there's a, a large building which is like half barn and then out off the side is what look to be stables and you know that there's not a lot of horses here. Horses are fairly rare, typically reserved for the wagon men and people who are actually traveling quite a bit, which is not not many people. But there are stables, probably a holdover from the, you know, from from days past. And um, you you head towards it though, and you can see that there are some other sort of random animals in these stables. There's a there's a, there's a cow. There's a handful of goats, a couple of ducks, almost farm like in in the sort of randomness. You walk in, and uh, inside the building, kind of, he's got a big pitchfork, and he's shoveling, uh, or he's pitching a bunch of hay, is a, a very tall furbolg. He's probably about almost eight feet tall. He's got deep bluish-gray skin and kind of uh, frizzy, brownish, um, little bit with a little bit of blonde hair. And uh, furbolgs are, you remember Rogbard? Kins, you instantly go back to Rogbard, who was the uh, the warden of, of the steward of the island, uh, and he passed from the plague when you guys freed the island all those those months ago. So you, you immediately think of, of him, and there's a there's a bit of a resemblance, um, but you haven't seen a lot of furbolg in general. Kira, you've probably never seen a furbolg. They're they're rare enough, and but it, you know it's hu very tall humanoid. Um, Probably the tallest, like non-giant humanoid you, you've ever seen. I, I said a brief prayer to uh, to Google, uh, the god of Google, and <laughs> I I was beamed uh, just a uh, you know a little, a little uh, I, I imagery. That I'm seeing, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's wearing kind of a patchwork leather vest, and and uh, he's got a big old belt, and he's uh, big big hide boots as he's just kind of working working the stables and. Uh, he turns around as you walk in, he goes, Oh, hello. Welcome. Come, come, come. And he puts the, like, jams the pitchfork in the ground and kind of walks over towards you guys and brushes his hands off and reaches this giant hand down towards you. And his, his hand is, like, as big as your head. <laughs> I am Rowan. Nice to meet you. Hi, Rowan. I'm uh, I'm Kins, and I'll shake my little druid hand, <laughs> extend it out. Uh, and this is my friend Kira. Hello. It's nice to meet. Yes, Kins. Yes, I know. I recognize. Yes. <laughs> Kira. Nice to meet. So, animals. I can uh, help with animals. What oh, yeah. So, I mean, we love the animals that we want to make sure all the animals are protected here. But we actually came here because we heard about... Have you been having trouble with... Uh, we've heard about some monster coming through and kind of causing trouble oh, over here. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, yes. Something um, uh, taking animals from uh, my pens. Uh, uh, it's not good, no. Uh, what, uh, what types of animals are they taking? Very big animals. Uh, big one cow is missing. Um, oh. Uh, maybe a goat as well. Um, mm. Small animals? No, all. It's okay. Oh, it's, uh, Any signs of a struggle? Part of fence broken in half. Eh? Uh, and okay. it, There's strange tracks and... Um, I recognize a little bit of thing, uh, it's... It, or maybe I say I don't recognize. Um, I am very familiar with animals and, and beasts and things like this. Uh, it's not something I recognize, uh, which to me is uh, significant. It's strange. Can we it's see not... the fence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and he kind of starts to walk out and takes you across the... Uh, across the area and just right right past the animals and um, 
all of them seem very calm and, and uh, as you walk by he, he says my job uh, no horses huh? <laughs> stables but no horses I am uh, like a doctor for animals uh, I help them and uh, make sure they're happy you have animal is sick yeah, bring to bring to Rowan <laughs> oh definitely I, I want to look to see if while we're at this fence, like if there are any tracks by the fence that I can investigate and try to see if I know anything about them. Make a survival check. Ah, survival. Here we go. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, as you approach the area where the the um, you can see that there's one section of fence that's been repaired recently. Uh, and, and you can see there's tons of tracks around inside the fences where all the animals are grazing and just do, doing their thing. But there's some pretty significant uh, large tracks that don't seem to match any of the animals that, that he's described. It's a it's three toes. They're very thick and, and kind of um, angular. And um, he notices you and he says, Yes, these are tracks. Uh, I make sure not to... Uh uh you know kick them around so that um, someone can can look but i don't recognize this do you recognize uh... i i don't imagine i do but do i no no you okay. don't uh do yeah. i kira make a survival check okay <laughs> here we go hey. 17 17 <gasps> Ooh. Kira, this is not the first time you've seen tracks like this, but you actually don't know what it is. Okay. You've seen them, and it's one of those things where you've always been a little bit curious about mm. what this is. Uh, so it, you instantly recognize it as the thing you don't recognize. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Um, I'll ask Rowan, uh, did you hear any sounds? Or was there a noise? There was, were the cows or, or the goats were they, were they upset? Uh... Animals uh, very happy next day, uh, like nothing happened, which is uh, mean to me. Perhaps they hear nothing, uh, not disturbed. Uh, uh, how you say, um, calm, uh, not not bothered. Uh, very strange. What about the ones that were taken? Did you, did they make any sounds at the time when they were taken? I wake up in the morning very early when the sun is coming up. Uh, and they're just gone, yeah. Oh. They this... came at night. Yes, yes, came at night. Mm. Uh, very dark that night. Moon very low. Uh, no struggle that I could tell. Very fast, very quiet. And did they take them all at once? It was a separate trips. Hmm. M m multiple times they were coming. Uh, so maybe one day it was a cow, and the next day a couple yes, of goats, mm -hmm. sort like of thing. This. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And How each time I'm repairing the fence, and uh, and one time I make fence even stronger, and it's just right through the fence. Mm. The fence only work to keep animals in, but not to keep this thing out. Uh, <laughs> so I tell uh, I tell Remus. Um, you know, if you can help him with this, very good, guys. We, there's not many animals here, and we can't afford losing them. Definitely. Uh, okay. Um, I look at Kira, and I'm like, well, I, I feel like this is a job that we are definitely wanting to take, and we want to help out. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 uh, I'll nod in agreement, and I'm just going to squat down and, and kind of do that thing that, that that trope from every movie with a tracker ever where i just put my fingerprints like inside yeah. the, the the track to, uh, the, like, to measure tell me something about what i it's... thought you were gonna say you pick up the dirt and you just like rub yeah. it in your Smell fingers it. So <laughs> lick it no <laughs> nothing they've gone south uh, <laughs> uh no i guess it just just to kind of like i don't know i'm doing tracker shit whatever that uh yeah hey uh yeah. so, so yeah. kira as you're <laughs> As you're doing that, and, and Kins, yep. you're kind of just wandering around. Um, Rowan follows you, Kins. And uh, make a perception check. Rowan is actually Niles. No, please, no. 27. 27. Uh, you can, so you look over, and there's 
something in the eyes that suggests there's a little bit more here than is being disclosed. And he's kind of giving you a look like he wants to, like he's kind of like nudging you away from Kira. Hmm. Like he wants to talk to you. Okay. I'll walk like further in like a forward direction and just uh, say, yeah, so this is a bit odd, huh? This is very odd. I know you kins of the Grove Warden. I know you well. Our kind are not uh, always welcome here, so I have to put on a mask. But I hope with you I am not needing to wear it. Oh? And he says, um, he lifts up his hand and he twirls a finger and a small little flower with his druid craft kind of buds out of the, the middle of his fingers and, and he hands it to you. Um, I'll take it and I'll make the flower kind of pulse a little and like flutter with my own druid craft. <laughs> you can, uh, you have to like kind of look up to like talk to like see it, see his face, but you can see he's kind of grinning, but he's, uh, you could tell also with your very high perception role as you're just intensely observant through all this, he's really good at hiding this and he's like clearly, um, very practiced at keeping these, this part of him, you know, kind of un under wraps and it quickly fades, but you could tell that he acknowledged it and smiled. And he said, um, long have I waited for uh, someone like you to help with what was going on at the island. I once traveled there myself, but I could tell there was nothing that I could do. I was not strong enough. When I was young, I would travel there. I would be with my kin and my grandfather. When the island got sick, we left and I did not want to go far. So here I am. The people here, they do not appreciate what we can do. So I hide. But. I still help the animals. I would uh, very much like to see the island again. Oh, so you haven't been back? I am nervous of this. Uh, and he kind of looks around and he like casts a, casts a long gaze over kind of like the, just the town in general. Kind of like, says, I've been here a long time and I know these people. And some of them would never look at me the same again if they knew. I am, I am afraid. I, I mean, I understand. So, so nobody knows, because, you know, I, I spoke with Remus, and I, I have a feeling that. He's, he's met some other druids. Remus is a smart man, and if anyone. Or to know it. Maybe him, but he's... I've never talked to him about this. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. I tell you only because I can feel the connection you have with the tree. And I yearn to be under its boughs again. Well, once we take care of this monster, I would love to fly us over to that island because I really would love to be under that tree as well. It's such, after after we took down and, you know, freed the island, there's such a, there's such a peace. It's peaceful here, you know, it's comfortable here, but it's nothing like what I feel on that island underneath the tree. So, if you would love to come, even if it's, you know, in the middle of the night, we don't have to tell anyone. We can go take a visit. <laughs> I would like that very much. If you decide to visit and you don't mind the tag along, <laughs> please think of me. 
Oh, yes, uh, the fence is very broken, as Kira walks up and kind of shakes the dirt. I couldn't believe the wood and things who are yeah. just the wood and splinters and oh, the animals are fine, though. It's very good. I mean, There's... we've seen worse, so Kira, right, Kira? We've seen worse. Oh. We can we can handle this. You've seen worse, absolutely. Yeah, you've, you're a great warrior. Look at you with that bow and the arrows. Yeah. Listen, you find the thing. You know, listen. When I was young, I would hunt things. And the best way to do this, you use bait. And you know how to bait a beast? You get something real strong. Something it's never smelled before, like a spice or something real potent, you know? Something like that. You take it out, you use something like that. Works every time. Just don't do it anywhere near my animals, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. All we right. Can't. I've got to get the back to this work over here, okay? <laughs> All right. And he looks Take over. Take care, Rowan. Gives you a big wink. His eyes like this big, you know? It's just like this <laughs> massive, you know, gives it to you. You guys head out of the stables and you... Back to Vin and uh, Belrissa and Jeshi as you walk up to. I just wanna uh, before we approach them. I just wanna I wanna I wanna. Here I feel like is socially adept enough to know when she's intentionally not being included in the conversation. So I don't want to push too hard because I'm just reuniting with the group. But I will just kind of playfully, uh, you know, look at Kans and. Actually, hold on, hold on. Before you before you do that, make an insight <laughs> check. Insight. So you got it. No. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's more instinctual than it is obvious to you, but that sure. was a little weird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go okay. Ahead. So I'll uh, I'll look at you and new boyfriend. <laughs> oh no no no. I I mean I just really Rowan knows all of us because we're like the famous ones or whatever and you know some people love us some people hate us it's kind of you know a bit of tension right here living in Portsmouth but um yeah that's I, he just wanted to tell me how excited the whole town was well most of the town was that we were back over here and uh yeah so he, he seems really nice kind of lonely but he does good, you know, good work for Portsmouth, taking care of the animals. It's very important. Do I know there's something she's not telling me or am I <laughs> buying all of this? Um, make another insight check. Uh... <laughs> and Kins, make a deception check. I was going to say, like, can <laughs> I make a deception? <laughs> Six. Sixteen. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's lying through her teeth. <laughs> she's like she's like visibly shaking as she's trying to like, Panicking, like um um uh what is the what is the physical uh differences between kins and i am i taller than she is you're probably i you I, I would say you're a bit more um uh you, no you're you're very similar i would very say very similar you're both half elven okay. yeah Okay, um, so we yeah. kind of are like, I can like kind of like glance. I don't even have to look down or up. I can just kind of look over like peripheral, just totally side eye this ridiculous I'm behavior. Just like obviously lying. Okay. <laughs> Shifting eyes. Uh, <laughs> Kira, Kira will, for the for the sake of the, of, 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 I guess, you know, maybe just like wanting a friend uh, is, is just, this is, is just not gonna, it's not gonna push any further and just gonna, you know, like, I'm, uh, I'm glad that uh, he's able to um, to talk to you. Seems like it meant a lot to him. And we'll just keep walking. You, uh, for the sake of brevity, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and say that um, the the armory is closed right now. Mm. It's too early in the morning. They're not open on Sunday, whatever it might be. So, mm. so I have to pick the lie. I see where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> we we uh, walk up as big as like try to pick the lie. <laughs> We, we can <laughs> we can move we we can visit that place uh, next time. You, you guys meet up on the road, and what do you want to do? Okay, so we it saw like uh, the fence was broken. Seems very strong. There are these giant footprints that I've never seen before. The, have you seen them, Kira? 
You were looking at them. You like got real close to them. They weren't giant. They're just super strong. Oh, never so mind. Cool. Yeah. You saw those weird footprints. Like you got mm -hmm. real close to them. Three, three toes and no, no, I've, 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 I've seen those prints before, but I, I, I can't place them. I don't know what they come from. Oh yeah, and then Rowan said that the animals didn't even scream or anything; that they were just like happy. They were quiet and and <laughs> and, and almost happy the next day. I said that animals were happy, like like they were they were glad that a couple of them were stolen off. I don't think that's true, but you know, it's, <laughs> nobody it liked that one. <laughs> it took like a cow, some goats, like all kinds of animals. A cow, a cow, a cow? right? Like it's that's like a big. <laughs> Was there any blood? I mean, like, was it? Was there sign of like a battle? No sign of any we struggle. We didn't see at all, any struggle though. Broken though. fence. Yep. Is it? Just like blast maybe through. the monster just wanted some farm friends. <laughs> um, it's not sure you smash a fence to get farm friends. I'm just. I mean, a, a strong fence too. Rowan said he rebuilt mm -hmm. it a couple of times to um, mm -hmm. to reinforce the it. The reinforce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. What just... was that thing? Those like demon animals that we fought. Ziggy? Well, no. <laughs> uh, but the ones that could turn you to stone. Oh, the puppies oh, the you puppy. killed? Oh, the puppies. No, it was yeah. a demon dog, is what it was. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and you killed the but baby it, version of it. Puppy yes, go on. But it couldn't, didn't it, didn't it start to almost petrify one of us? Or like, yeah. start to like well, slow our body did. down? Oh, Kira, we saw this on the desert. I mean, I wonder if the bigger That's, one did. You know. The mama. I wonder if it would be something I can do in killing these puppies. It's, it was not a good moment. No. <laughs> they were eating petrified humans. Like, <laughs> this is not a scene you walk up on and think, oh, cute puppy. Like, you kill those things. What was it? Was it cute, though? I mean, it was taking mm -hmm. a nap in the sun. I mean, it was like a baby version. But of it an had animal. previously been oh, eating oh, oh. human bones. So but, uh, yeah, as Vin approached, I think I heard it go like. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So we did see those. <laughs> then he those executed little... it. Yeah, his classic yeah. shooting. So Captain far, Trigger. I am a hundred percent on killing bad things. We didn't always know they were bad when I killed them, but afterwards, fully condoned bad things I killed. Mm -hmm. Um. But this, Wait, but no, what you I'm think saying that is, that is a petrifying no, beast? No, I don't think those things are here. Like, we've never... Oh. But what if... I mean, I if they not. made no sound and there's no blood, I'm just saying, what if this thing has a way of, like... Temporary like, stasis. Yeah, like, like, like paralyzing <laughs> its 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 prey before it takes it away, right? Mm. Wow. I'm just saying, if we're going to hunt something, that's pretty bad if it can paralyze us. Got uh, it. We what might want to... I don't think it's Niles, no. but you know, we'll keep our eye open. I'm not, if it is, I'll just say this. If it is, I am no longer worried. Because <laughs> I think Niles will have his day pretty with sure us. Pretty sure we could take care of Niles. Do, uh, how, where should we check then to try to track this thing down? Yeah, do you think, do you we think we it went off into the, the forest? Stables or do you want to go to Winnie's and start from there? Cause apparently there were tracks there as well. I do want to go to Winnie's so okay. that we can meet her. And yeah, we should meet the Winster. We need to we need to be sure to reassure her that we're gonna come back with her goat. It's the least um, that we can do. Not sure if we should make promises like that. Okay, um. well we can just learn more information <laughs> if you don't want to make a promise, which I guess in hindsight we or shouldn't parts make. Parts of her goat, whatever mm. part of her goat is left. She <laughs> might have different information than Rowan did, yes. is what yeah, I'm saying, we and we can like follow the tracks maybe. Yeah. If we see any. Sounds I'm good. good. I'm good going to that house. Did. Did he I guess we're not breaking into the armory. We all that okay. So Wait, no. you want to break into the armory? Well, they're not open. What kind of mayor are you? Pull out a key ring with a bunch of stuff on it. <laughs> you won't get in. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, oh, okay. Sorry. Technically, is our armory. You know, Vin, if you start breaking into stuff, you're never gonna get elected mayor. <laughs> oh, that's true. We're in competition with Remus now. That is true. Not competition, but succession. Uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, on to Winnie's. Okay. <clears throat> you and the great uh, goat. You make it over to where her house is, and uh, she's got a tiny little kind of side yard that's, you know, has a, a bit of a, a wooden fence around some of it, and you can tell that there's obvious signs of there having having been uh, animals there. But alas, none right now. 
and you see one section of the fence has been recently repaired, similar to the way Rowan's was. What do you want to do? Are there tracks also by that fence? Make a survival check. All right, survival. Come on, kids. Survive. 26. Oh, that was a natural 20. Whoa, nice. natural 20. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so many tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the same tracks. And you even can see which direction they lead off. And Winnie's... Uh, kind of housing area uh, housing area her her house <laughs> her housing abode establishment is zoned over yeah so it's it's near the outskirts and you're able to see where this uh whatever this thing is has peeled off and and headed off into the, into the woods uh the fence itself similarly messed up um well, someone someone can make an investigation check to look at the fence itself, but as in terms of the tracks, um, yeah, they're they're definitely the same ones, and they're relatively fresh. He was investigating. I mean, I can do it. Too. Oh, thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it it was broken, and, and now it's been repaired. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, kids can't uh, be a your, superpower. Put your Sherlock everything. Holmes hat back on. Yeah. Here. I would like to see if I can tell how far the tracks go till they disappear. Sure. Yeah. Um, so we want to all like, I, do we want to all go there? Or like, is it, I don't know if I'm going all the way there necessarily. I'm okay. just I'm trying to see, do they, do they fade before they, uh, they leave my vision or they, do they go into a forest or are they, they over a cliff or. Yeah, it's kind of like a coastal grasslands kind of area with like patches of forest. And because of it, it's a bit muddy in, in a lot of areas. Hmm. So they're actually <laughs> relatively easy to follow. <laughs> There's so many seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> they're following us, actually. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, and uh, you can actually see as you, as you just follow them briefly for five, ten minutes, they sort of peel down towards the coast a little bit. And uh, they they seem to be kind of hugging the hugging the coastline, dipping in and out of the trees, but pretty easy to follow. All right, is Winnie around? <laughs> yeah, do we want to talk to her before we go off? Did the seagulls <laughs> eat her? <laughs> They're just being swarmed. <laughs> They're just dropping clamshells on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't have my new armor. Oh, no. <laughs> She's just deflecting them with, with the shield. Uh, you walk up and, and you and you rap on the door and nobody answers. Mm. Winnie does not appear to be home. No. Uh, Winnie. Kira, Kira breaks away to the side for a window. Got to peek inside. Okay, perception check. 20 20 uh it's a pretty small place and and you can easily look in the window and it doesn't seem like anybody's home uh pretty humble you know little little house there's just not a lot going on in there just uh, just an no uh, nothing looks everybody. out of place no broken vases or nope just seems like she's not home everything okay. seems pretty normal All right. so this thing didn't like it doesn't appear like it went into the house or anything. Just like took the right. animal. Well, I see this. You see the tracks right here, and I point out like what I noticed from before. Hmm. Did you see the fence is, is, was broken? Was repaired? No, I rolled a four. I don't see any thing? of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pointing it to you right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do we, do we see her tracks next to the like if she left to follow the tracks? Uh, yeah. I would say that you you can definitely tell that she did not follow these particular no. tracks sure. yeah and you can also see that the uh the the tracks because you rolled a nat 20 the tracks leading away are deeper than the tracks leading towards the fence okay as if it had extra weight so i'm feeling good it's a nice day these seagulls are annoying yeah i mean do we oh, want to follow? Like, I see the tracks. Let's we can go check it out and let's yeah. follow them. 
We might oh. not find anything, but we Do you might wanna fly? see something cool. Should we fly? Uh, kind of hard to see tracks from the air. Yeah, I guess I can... Ground? Okay, we'll try from the ground. If I need to fly, like I can make that happen. Ooh, maybe you could uh, pull up one of your wolf friends. Mm. Oh, for sure. Or, you know, a small squirrel. We'll see. I what mean, happens, but... we'll see oh, either. Jean-Claude. <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Badger. Well, squirrels have things of merit, right? <laughs> They can climb trees. <laughs> All right. I, I, uh, just hard He's going to go down to the ground and, <laughs> and actually do the sniff. I, Is I, there I... an odor to the tracks? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Jamie, are you rolling your animals? Yeah, I pull a fuzzy ball out of my bag and um, <laughs> Heck yes. throw it on the ground, and it turns into a... I choose you. No. Jean-Claude Jean Van Claude. Giant Badger. Oh, nice. Nice. Yes, just He just does need. a split immediately. <laughs> For no reason. Jean-Claude Van Badger. Okay, a badger happens. And uh, <laughs> Kira, you're literally like down on the ground sniffing mm -hmm. footprints, and all of a sudden yeah. you feel a cold nose against your cheek. <laughs> <laughs> like, you look That's over, cute. and there's this giant badger face just like kind of grinning at you. Hello. He's, he's all badger. He just sniffs make, and does badger things. Make a perception things. check, Kira. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, you don't really smell anything. The salt air is pretty prevalent here, and all, all you really smell is uh, is the ocean, just okay. the tides. Okay. All right. Ooh, badger has keen smell. Keen smell. Uh huh. Yes. He's, okay. He sniffs what what Kira sniffed, the and he's like, "What are you sniffing?" Sure. And <laughs> like monkey, Kira. Feet, monkey, best friends, uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> that gives him advantage, right? Um. Yes. Okay. Cool. Go ahead. Roll for him. Um. How, how do I? Uh, was perception? The badger's gonna imprint on Kira and think you you're its mom. <laughs> <laughs> just has a badger on her shoulder for the rest of the campaign. <laughs> well, he, he only oh, lasts one 24. Day. He yeah. only lasts 24 hours. Yeah. So uh, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere hundreds of miles away, there's a really sad old Bali woman who does not have a weasel. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> they swindled an old lady by trading her. A, Whoa, a, a I don't know. It, it was a gift. It was, <laughs> gift. it was a temporary oh, gift. <laughs> <laughs> you did not tell her it was temporary. That's what I'm I saying. couldn't speak her language. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Bill Rippin who's been taking the animals? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. She pops them in the Pokeball. Yes. Sleepwalking, <laughs> capturing Suspect them. numero yep. uno. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, he rolled a ten. A ten, yeah. No, Nothing. Just, <laughs> just, um, no. just smelling low tide. No, but then he smiles. He smiles at Kira, like, yeah. You were sniffing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's all right. Good, good badger. Please. All it's right, what are fun. we doing? We're gonna follow on these tracks. Follow, the tracks. follow these tracks. Okay. I'll be up front. Right on, Kins and Kira, tag team. Dynamic duo following these tracks with the badger kind of awkwardly like following, you know, between them. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys follow the track. They lead to the south and they go, they, they kind of, they're making a straight line. Like they're not really going all over the place, so to speak, but they are cleverly avoiding things you probably wouldn't have noticed. Uh, for example, at one point they go, they just immediately turn to the right and kind of go around this area. And when you get, and then they kind of curve back and then you realize that they avoided like a big mud pit. Uh, just like little things like that, that, uh, show signs of intelligence as you are following these, these tracks. Uh, you follow them for about an hour, decent ways away. Where's the badger throughout this walk for an hour? On your shoulder. He's, he's following you. Good, okay. yeah. good. He's That's stupid. He's right. a giant on badger. On my shoulder. Good. Yeah. <laughs> good. A giant badger. Oh, sh you're right. Yeah. Um... It's large. Like, this is a large badger. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like a small bear that I'm giving <laughs> Oh, my gosh. He's he I a forgot it was pounds. giant. Yeah, it's basically a small black bear sized badger <laughs> who, uh, Absolutely yeah. terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> terrifying concept. He just keeps doing splits. Do you think 
Does anybody else want to take a turn? Piggyback him <laughs> and back him around. <laughs> I mean, he can walk. Uh, I, sure I pop out a quick. To. I don't know I... what to do. <laughs> Badger's gonna do. <laughs> oh, nobody can control it. Nope, nope. <laughs> oh boy. Uh... <laughs> okay, so you continue to walk, and you, like I said, you're walking for about an hour or so, and you've gotten into a point in the salt marshes where uh, it's very muddy. And it's very difficult to to just walk normally and you can see that you're starting to get into almost this bog like territory where your um every step is like sinking kind of deep into the mud and you know there's like flies and and you start to hear frogs and it just uh like more more in the wilds you know you're uh it, it's it's just harder to walk in general you uh you get to a point, the tracks are getting a little harder to follow, and they start to veer inland a little bit and towards a, a pretty large patch of scrubby trees. You gonna keep going? Oh, um, so I just remembered what something <laughs> Rowan said to us that I forgot to, to think in our plan. We didn't actually come up with a good plan other than let's follow the tracks, mm, nice. but Rowan said that um, something that has like smell might be useful for like attracting the monster. Mm. And then I'll pull out of my bag because we actually forgot to do this when we went to the sleeping savior. And I turned to Jesse and I'm like, okay, so I know we got this spice. Do you think I can just do like a little bit of it? We can sprinkle it maybe on the badger and the badger can like- Spice up the badger. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, I'll, I'll just do a little bit cause it's kind of pungent. <laughs> so like, I don't want to waste it. You think that's okay? Are you talking about the glass I, weed I, spice? I yeah, the glass weed. Okay. I'll Sarah, Jesse, like, please. I have like, some pocket bacon. We can use that instead. You have pocket bacon? Of course I have pocket have bacon. Have I been smelling rotting bacon this whole time? <laughs> That's not rotting. I got it this morning. Uh, but, uh, Are you sure that the badger's not going to like... Each one of those needles on the glass weed is like... That's like a cup of soup. I, don't, I feel this is I part of our I business could, like... plan. We can't just give things away for free. No, but we were going to trade with them. <laughs> right? Excuse me. Do you remember yes. how much beer you gave out last night? No, you don't. Because you gave out like half of our stock. So we're if we're going to be like in the red we might as well just go all in at this point they don't know we have this fancy spice exactly we could sell it for millions <laughs> no that's fine yeah it, it's so potent you don't need a lot i feel okay Plus so hold like, on we're unique. we're going to try to sprinkle <laughs> I don't some, even... <laughs> yeah, some we're grass gonna... on the badger have you it's smelled the spice this? yeah and I'll, then I'll have hold the it. badger be bait yeah mm -hmm. To lure it, we, do you want to go in badger. there? I, th I think we got to get it out. I I'm just... not afraid. We're like, the town is right there. I can see it. Mm. I can like still see the outskirts. We are the strongest people in this area. So oh. yeah, fire it out, mm. bring it on. No oh. trees or anything in the area. Like we're just kind of still in, I mean, we were in the swamp in the for like six hours you're kind of in a marsh the... right now and, yeah. and the marsh is giving way to low scrubby trees that the tracks are clearly okay. leading into try I mean, spicy badger i could also make sounds of another animal john claude van spice do you think I in could... the history of D, &D you could... there's ever been a spicy badger plan <laughs> gi spicy giant badger. <laughs> i mean i like Love you guys. <laughs> behind the ear. Behind the ear. <laughs> I imagine the glass weed like rosemary, so it's just got needles. Just, so just like, you know, get in some off. like, oh, what's that smell? Here, here. I kinda wanna go see. It's gonna be absolutely torture to Jean Claude. While you okay. guys are having a back and forth, Kira is now sitting on a stump looking very upset as the badger just licks her face <laughs> from over her shoulder, just hoping that you guys will make a decision here in the next Oh, time. Sean Club loves Kira. Yes. <sighs> All right, Belrissa, you're probably going to have to do this because the badger will listen to you. Yeah. Which, Jean, Jean by the way, Kira, come, the, come here, come here. The badger will listen to Belrissa. Oh. So anytime you need to. Yeah. Thank the gods, my shoulder. <laughs> 
walk over to Kins, get a, or a, he's, you know, do you want to do the honors? Sure, and so I'll like just take a little, a tiny bit as I look at Jesse. Like this is okay, right? Oh, I'm okay, watching okay. very closely. <laughs> and I'll just do like a little bit, just like gently, kind of like um, make some sort of like little with whatever's around me, some sort of twine to kind of attach it. And I'll be like, okay, good boy, good boy. And I'll like attach it to Jean Claude. Every piece we waste. Just makes it more urgent that we establish trade. We are absolutely going to establish trade. It's going to be okay. fine. I got yes. this. Kira, got as, this. Uh, as they pull out this, this weed that, that Kins kind of bundles up and, and awkwardly ties to the to the to his nose or to his face. <laughs> I don't, I'm imagining like around the his badger body, is like, like I don't know. You know like, <laughs> we were the, rubbing it on him. <laughs> 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 It's an oil, an yeah. extract. The spice yeah, is incredibly it. pungent. It, it, it is this. It, it's like it's crushed this, garlic. It just it's like, got this <clears throat> wild, exotic oh. smell to it. This real deep spice kind of smell, and and just just pulling it out, like you you immediately smell it. You, the ba- the badger is very, like very uncomfortable with this stuff being so close <laughs> to its nose. It's like completely overwhelmed and confused. But it definitely. I mean, you could smell it for a you know a long. A long Just ways. imagine a soup made of this, Kira. Oh, so, it's very good. Is there anywhere we can hide? Smell. Like, I get now we have a badger that smells. <laughs> Where are we going to be? I'm going to fly away. Bye, y'all. Uh, <laughs> like to jump up in the nearest uh, tree. Yeah, we should. Yeah, is, is there some is there rocks tr- we can hide behind? Something. We make good plans, Taka. Or, or rocks? We should hide. Someone can So be there invisible. are. Um, if, uh, so in a, in a salt marsh, there are places where the tide comes in and out, and the tide is mostly out right now. So there are these like divots in, in the marshes where you could hide behind the tall grass. But again, the tracks are leading kind of into the trees. Yeah. Uh, so you'd either have to all kind of go in, in there or just send the badger in or... Yeah, I'd say we send the badger in. I'm, yeah. I'm good with that plan. Like, let's send the badger mm-hmm. into the trees. But we need to hide Disposable. somewhere. Oh, so, yeah, because Belrus <laughs> is going to look through and We've then apparently like, made, what's happening? We've already made the moral That's decision. Only, I can't see through badger. <laughs> oh, you yeah. can't see through badger? Oh, we should have put this on Ziggy. Oh, oh we should do it anyway. <laughs> you got extra. It's still in your hands. Ziggy's no, they have a stronger connection. Okay. Uh, so what are we okay. going to do? spank the badger on the bum and hope he just runs in that hey, direction like a horse and just listen you know what you could do though is i could uh i could go invisible and i'll just like fly next to the badger because i really want to see what's going to happen to this badger yes, okay Ziggy. okay you okay. tell us everything that's, that sounds great Zig. be the reporter all right all right so it's not a I, bad idea Ziggy. all right so jean-claude now we want you to go in there the moment you see a monster you run back out Towards no. us. No, don't. Oh, right. Yeah, because we want to draw him out, right? <laughs> don't worry, was that not the plan? Yeah, because we're going to kill it, right? He's going to draw him out, sure. and then we'll, okay. you know. Right. Ambush. But it'll be distracted by the badger that it won't see right. us, and we'll just go psh, ambush. Okay. If the monster eats Jean Claude, will it be hungry again in 24 hours? Um, no, but at least we'll um, see. I don't know. Maybe? What is the metaphysical property of these? <laughs> is it, does it nourish? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> does, it, does, does Jean-Claude bleed? <laughs> right, we, okay. So are we hiding in the same divot? Or splitting know. up into several divots? I'm trying to ma- imagine my mind. Several divots. So right. you guys, okay, you guys spread out amongst. We're gonna make the, kind of like a half circle, tidal, mm-hmm. you know, tidal yeah. pools that are currently okay. empty, and you're kind of just crouching, like looking through like the top of the grass, you know. Uh, everybody, make a stealth check while, while we're while we're doing that. <laughs> okay, uh, thirteen. Ooh. Uh, fourteen. Um, Let's see. Eight. Ouch. All right, hold on to yeah. those scores for now, cause cause we'll we'll be a minute. Uh, so you guys all just kind of dip down behind, <laughs> and the, Ziggy goes invisible mm-hmm. and kind of perches on the back of Jean Claude, the I, giant badger. I tell Jean Claude he's a very good boy, <laughs> and that we love him and hope he doesn't die. And he starts to trot into the trees. He follows for about a minute. And he's kind of, he's trying to sniff the tracks to follow them. 
uh, as instructed, but the, the spice is kind of messing with his nose. Uh, but Ziggy's able to, we'll say Ziggy's able to kind of keep him on track and, and helps out a little bit. They don't have to go very far because maybe 50 feet into the trees, it opens up into another clearing. It's kind of a, and, and you guys are not seeing this, obviously. Belrissa is observing this through through Ziggy. So you'll have to figure out, Belrissa, how you want to relay this mm -hmm. to, to the group. Uh, it opens up into a clearing. And as the badger goes in, the tracks... They die into a pool of water. And uh, as it's kind of looking around, you hear you hear Ziggy communicating. He says, this feels weird. Are you seeing this? Yeah. I feel weird. <laughs> like real weird. Oh, no. And then all of a sudden. Oh, no. The vision gets blurry. No. As you see a tiny little glowing light maybe about the size of a marble just kind of hovering in the air back and forth getting closer and closer to ziggy you hear a thump as jean claude falls over into the mud and a few moments later ziggy's vision goes blank guys 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 we gotta go in there jean claude's hey. down ziggy's down also don't look at a glowing light okay is this where the stealth checks come in? Stealth checks are gonna come in next week because oh we have to bring this session to a close. <laughs> no. Yes, because uh, next week we will no. find out the fate of Ziggy and Jean Claude, the very loyal good boy who is currently lying in the mud. You guys did a great oh, no. job. <laughs> I think Jesse remembers a natural twenty from. Oh, <laughs> mark those stealth yeah. checks down. We'll we'll mark them down. Unfortunately, roll twenty saves them. Here, <laughs> we'll write it write it down. Double write it down. <laughs> nice job, guys. Kira, oh it is gosh. great to have you back. Kira, so yeah. good to be back. <laughs> good to be back. <laughs> All right, let's see. Closing remarks. Um, thank you guys for watching we're here every wednesday night 9 p.m central and if you missed part of this episode or want to go back and watch all the awesome content we have a youtube channel which if you want to subscribe to that helps us out a lot we appreciate it if you have other D, &D loving friends or perhaps families uh, or grandmothers grandfather anybody who loves D, D, you know send them our way we've got badgers we've got ghosts <laughs> what else we got i don't know we got a, some stuff a lot of stuff really selling it yeah talking but demon cat <laughs> demon cat we got the, we get the fawns and demon soup. cat form soup we got soup <laughs> bacon we, we just got lots of stuff but anyway thanks for watching anybody want to call anything out before we close it up uh, i'm gonna be uh, thinking about does john claude bleed for a very long time yeah. <laughs> The important questions. It was. Oh. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your bad plans. <laughs> 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 <laughs>